Well, everyone, here we have a lab quest, and it's connected to a sensor. In this case, it's a temperature sensor. Ooh, give it a second to focus here. And what we're going to be looking at now is how to set up the lab quest to collect data for us. Now, if we're using a thermometer and we want to collect data, we're probably going to be collecting data about how long the thermometer has been in there and what temperature it reads. Lucky for us, the lab quest will, be, will do both for us and will do it very easily and very accurately. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can on here. And what I'm going to do now is set this thing up to take the temperature uh, from whatever settings I want. And there are a couple ways to get into this. Um, you can click on the sensor menu and then go to data collection. And that's going to give you options about how you want to set this up. So I can click on that and you'll see this screen come up. And this is the screen we're interested in seeing. There's also another way to get here. I'm going to just exit out of it for now. Any of these three boxes here, mode, rate, length, if I just click on any of those boxes, it brings up the data collection area as well. Now in this screen, there are some options. Uh, let's start up at the top with mode. The first mode is time-based, and what this is going to do is it's going to tell the LabQuest to take data from the thermometer or whatever instrument is connected uh, a certain number of times each second. We have other options in here. The only one uh, you'll probably ever come across other than time-based is events with entry, but we'll jump off that bridge when we get there. So let's look at some of our other options. First we have rate, and it says two samples per second. So what that means is that if I leave this at two, the lab quest will ask the thermometer what the temperature is two times every second. So twice every second, it's going to collect data about the temperature. And I can change this simply by selecting that and then typing in whatever value I want. So if I want to collect that data 10 times a second, I said 10 times a second, I just type in 10 and then hit OK. Now notice where it turned yellow. That's the LabQuest's way of saying that it can't do that or that it's not programmed or it's not a good idea to do that. If it turns red, it means it absolutely won't. So what it's telling me is that's too many samples per second for the thermometer. So let's try five. And that's too much too. Three, too much. So two looks like the way to go. Now notice that as I change that, this interval changes as well. These two are just different ways of measuring the same thing. So interval is just how long in seconds do you want to go between samples. So in this case, 0.5 seconds per sample. So the lab quest is going to wait half a second, take a sample. And that means take the temperature. And then wait another half second, then take the temperature. So on and so forth. So whichever one of these is easier for you to think about, uh, you're welcome to use. Length tells the lab quest how long it should record data, like how long it should do this. So right now it's set to record um, for 180 seconds and it's going to take two samples every second. So it's going to collect a total of 360 data points about the temperature for us. And we can change this to whatever we want. If instead of 180 seconds we just want to do this for one minute, I can just say 60 seconds. Or Another way to do this is notice there's this triangle here, which means that's a pull-down menu, and I can select different units for time. So I could tell it to collect for 60 minutes, so now it's going to collect data for an hour. And you can adjust this however you want. Notice that when I change this to minutes, it changed to minutes up here as well. So now it's how many samples per minute. So now it's checking the temperature two times, every minute. <laughs> Forgive the interruption. 
All right, with this, you can set up however you want to, and now it comes time to record the data. So you've told the lab just how you want it to collect data. Now it's just a matter of doing it. So we're going to take some data real quick. I'm going to take the thermometer, and I'm going to wrap my hand around it so that the thermometer gets warmer. But I want the lab quest to record data about this. So what I'm going to do is hit the play button. You can see it's just a physical button on the lab quest that you push. Alternatively, here in the corner, it's harder to see on your screen, I'd imagine. But that is a play button as well. So that button and that button have the exact same effect. You can choose whichever one you'd like. So what I'm going to do now is apparently you zoom in the wrong direction. All right, I'm going to grab this in my hand and hit play. And now the lab quest is collecting data. And what you'll see, if I can zoom in here, is that it's collecting this data and it's putting that data on a graph. And so what you're seeing is how the temperature is changing uh, in time. Now this is set to run for 180 seconds. Um, obviously I'm not going to keep it there the whole time. Um, but however long you set it for, it will run and it will collect that data for you.